Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Farhan from GFX Farhan. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a campfire with environment in Houdini 19, something like this. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss the new updates of cool videos. If you want the project file of this video, then complete 100 likes on this video. After completing 100 likes, a project file will be added in the description of this video or in the next video. So let's get started. First, I show you a quick walkthrough of the environment and then we create fire from scratch so first i add a first i downloaded these models from internet as obj with textures and then i add a geonode name it and in the geonode i add a file and import these then i add a convert node and convert it to polygons then i add normals for fixing this type of problem and then i add a transform node and scale it to 0.5 now here i add blast nodes and separate these for material okay then i add material nodes on each and assign material and merge them together i separated these for collision purpose separate this for source and this for karma render then again i add a geo node and add a file node and import my landscape then i add normals change it to point and add a transform node and scale it up something like this here also add blast node and separate each part also add separate material so it's easy okay now it's time to add fire add a geonode name it double click open it add object merge node and uh, merge okay i turn off materials add a remesh node change this to 07 to add some details then add a noise attributes and in the noise attribute change this to float because we need only black and white color and change this to zero center enable remap ramp four six something like five five Play with these now here we need an offset in the y add dollar sign t star 2 add a up network now the particles look like a sprite now here press d change this to dark and uh, in the geometry display sprites uncheck now it's look like particle go inside and uh, here cater onto surface is fine and uh, emission from cd which is our this attribute add a scale point count by area and five for adding more points and in the birth tab i add thousand points in the impulse count zero zero and life expectancy to 0 0.5 and variation to 0 0.05 and the rest are default now it's look like this now here add a pop force add 15 in y amplitude to 13 and total size to one five now it's look like fire add uh, op drag it's 
now add a wire source keep input and bar add a add a volume rasterizer attribute here we need to add a burn temperature and velocity so if i add a velocity blur change this to burn this is my source now add a pyro solver and in pyro solver copy parameter and paste relative reference change it to 0 and 5 next step is 2 with the default let's look like this here in the bounds close below and in the field tab my dissipation is 0 0.03 here i check my density emit density from flame change my range to e and 1 it is used for uh, smoke emit smoke from flame and life expectancy to 0 0.4 it is used for dying the flame or life of a flame buoyancy lift to 0 0.1 also add some wind Then I add a disturbance of 3 block base to 5 max 3. Then I add a turbulence of 2 5 swirl size to 8 and max of phase to 3. Add some threadings of 1.5 block base size to 0.25 and max octaves to 3 3 are 2 now our effects look like this now it is very bright so in the look tab i change it to 10 now my fire is look like this which is very low low res now here if we increase the resolution now it look like this play with these settings to achieve your desired look now here i jump to my final settings to show you the collision process okay let uh, close this and on this this is <coughs> my setup i use 0 0.03 voxel scale for my final simulation and uh, one thing i forgotten i also increase the time scale to two for fast looking fire if you want slow motion then decrease it if you want fast motion then increase it. one thing more i change uh, my source scale to 1.5 in my sourcing tab now i show you my collision first i add a merge node and merge these which i separated these for collision then i add a collision source node and connect this now here i add two nulls this is main and this is vdb and in the collision source i change my voxel size to 0 0.05 then i add a merge node and merge these and connect this to the second input so here my fire penetrate in the geometry for fixing this i add a sphere and transform it and scale it to this size i show you wireframe and it looks like this by adding this now my fire is not passing in this geometry after that i add a file cache node and cache the simulation to disk then add a material of pyro shader this is my pyro shader setting intensity scale 20 
this is mantra setting but i don't render it in mantra okay this is my camera here i add a environment light this is a geometry light used for fire emission or fire lighting on the scene so it is simple not complicated to use my low intensity for night scene so our fx is completed i show you a quick walkthrough of uh, solaris because i render it in karma add a soft import node and import fire i import fire as a separate this is my camp this is my landscape and this is my fire separately add material library and assign materials separately then merge them and here i import to a scene import camera from my sub add a dome light and a karma node so this is my camera one and this is my camera two loop drone camera simple not complicated and uh, i also add some aovs like uh, direct diffuse and direct emission indirect emission and direct volume which i use for post work so our tutorial is completed hope you enjoyed see you in another amazing and cool tutorial allah hafiz goodbye